Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video I'll be covering Yoast SEO Video SEO, the premium plugin developed by Yoast SEO. The Video SEO is an add-on to the base Yoast SEO plugin, and it's a separate buy from the Yoast SEO Premium. As I've mentioned towards the beginning of the Yoast SEO series, I would be looking at all their add-ons. This add-on is arguably my favorite. And the reason I say that is because is that because I make a lot of video content, it allows me to in, get indexed in Google in multiple positions. So we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna first go through the settings and I'm gonna explain what this plugin does. So the Yoast SEO video does two things. It generates an XML video sitemap and it allows you to submit that content to search. So we're gonna go through these options real quick. I'm gonna explain what they do and I'm gonna explain what you should use. So you could find your XML video sitemap at the URL, very basic. It's actually out of date because I added a video to this post. We're going to update it just to make sure that it gets updated per correctly. You could choose to hide the sitemap from normal visitors. This doesn't matter in all honesty. Whether the user sees your sitemap or not isn't that important. You could disable your media RSS enhancement, which basically just includes the video markup in your RSS. I, there's not really a situation when you need to do this unless the content that you're writing is not supposed to include videos in the RSS feed, in which case you could disable it. If you're using advanced custom fields or an advanced or just custom fields in general, and you have the video included in a custom field, you need to include the custom field in this section so the plugin can search for the video to get the data from it. Then there's the Embedly API key. You could choose to get an Embedly API key from Embedly. What this does is it helps the Yoast SEO plugin find data about the videos it'll for additional formats that it may not find. So for instance, YouTube, Vimeo, uh, Wistia, those are pretty much all supported by default. Additional video providers though can be found using Embedly, which will help further improve your listings in Google search. Under the embed settings, you can choose to allow videos to be played directly on other websites. So if you're on Facebook or Twitter, this will allow videos to be embedded in those preview windows so that way they can be clicked and viewed natively as opposed to being taken to like a featured image and then they click that image to then see the video. This can help the videos get additional views because it cuts out an extra step and primarily if you're running content around a video, you just want them to watch said video anyways. You can also choose to enable the content width. This is just your theme's con default content width. If there's an empty setting, a value will be inserted to make sure the videos that are embedded correctly. And if you have Wistia and you have a custom domain in Wistia, you have to set the custom domain here so that way the video's data is pulled in correctly. For the post types for which the video SEO plugin is enabled, primarily I recommend enabling it for the posts and the pages. You shouldn't really do it for media because those are not going to be an available post type anyways. Frankly, I would almost suggest that Yoast SEO disables this option because it should tie into the search appearance settings, which most of the time you're redirecting it anyways. You could choose to include taxonomies. So if you have a video on a taxonomy archive, for instance, you can allow that to be enabled, but I wouldn't really find many use cases when you'd want to use this. After all that, you'd want to hit the save settings, save changes. And then there's the indexation of your video content. If you have a website that's already existed prior to you buying this plugin, you're going to have to go through a forced re-indexation of already indexed videos. And this will just help it go through all the content to find any videos and make sure that it, nothing is being missed. And then you're going to go back to the video SEO settings. And now if you go to your XML sitemap, it now detects that video that I uploaded onto that post. Now that we've done that, we're gonna to go to the post and describe just generally how this works. So I copied and pasted one of my latest videos into this post right here. And the data is being pulled from that YouTube embed, as you can see, and that is what's being used to generate this little thumbnail and the duration data as well as the publication date of the post. This is not the publication date of the video. This is just the publication date of the post that it's in. And it also tries to pull tags from the tags that you add to said post. So I could add a tag just as a test. And if I go back to my XML sitemap, 
the tag should be listed out when it re-indexes. It's not the fastest when it comes to re-indexing content, but it will show up. So the biggest question I always get asked is, why do I need this? And that is something that when I first got the question, the plugin, when I was thinking about the plugin, I wondered why I needed it. And I primarily am a developer and then I write blog content, but I'm doing a lot more videos as you can see on the channel. So when I write my blog post, I almost always try to incorporate the video that I have talked that I've made for the subject that I'm discussing. And I could never show up in the Google video search. And for what you don't know, if you're in Google, the video search is this little videos tab. My YouTube videos did show, but I never got listed on my website in that section for the video that I was writing about. But with this plugin, it allows you to be indexed in this section. So for instance, I have how to configure the heartbeat control plugin for WordPress. And as you can see, it's from certmedia.com, not YouTube. The WordPress tutorials tag is right here and it includes a description. It says it was added five days ago and it was uploaded by Cert Media. And you can tell that this is correct because when you go to the post, you're going to be, it's gonna show you the post content and it's gonna show you the YouTube embed. So I'm basically getting the benefit of being able to be indexed twice for the same search result. And you know that this is how this is working because if you look directly for the URL in Google search, as you can see, I'm being listed under this option as well how to configure the heartbeat control for WordPress. So I'm being listed in two separate positions in search for the same content. I also get the added benefit of being listed not only in the YouTube search for the same video, but I also get the advantage of being listed in the video section for the same video. As you can see, the heartbeat control, I have the video right here, heartbeat control, the complete guide. And then I have the one that's on YouTube, titled Heartbeat Control Tutorial 2020. So I'm basically allowing myself to get twice as much video exposure by writing content around the videos that I'm making and to appear in search results twice. This is useful because oftentimes the users are looking for specific types of content. In YouTube, the user who looks for my video, for instance, is oftentimes being is looking for tutorial, while oftentimes in regular Google search, I find that how to's outperform that, out to the, how they outperform tutorials in the Google search results. So what I've done here is I started my, to my blog post is how to configure the heartbeat control for WordPress. And in the YouTube search, I did heartbeat control 2020. So I included the year and I included the, the word tutorial. And then after I really included the how to set up the heartbeat control. So I get the advantage of being able to promote my videos effectively in two different locations in video search while also just expanding my reach for my general website traffic. So this is a really good extension. And even though my blog posts on my website aren't, there's not that many that have videos, it's just useful to be able to rank in two different positions, including in regular video search for the same video. Now, there is nothing inherently wrong with this method. And in fact, it's useful to the user because I'm providing good content in two different spots, which allows them to read a either a longer form text post, or it allows them to simply see a shortened video on YouTube that allows them to get great content. This is, as I said, my favorite version of the Yoast SEO add-ons, because if you write a lot of, if you make a lot of video content, this is invaluable to you. And this plugin, I think, starts at $69 a year, and the regular premium plugin starts at $89 a year. And then probably when I come to renewal, they'll give me some kind of discount for renewing. I highly recommend this plugin. It's well worth the money if you make video content. If you don't make video content, then I would not get this, this add-on. The reason for that is if you're not making video content, but you embed content on from YouTube in your posts, you're getting extra video promotion for videos that aren't your own. And nobody's gonna be viewing the video search in, in Google search to just find your blog post. It's something to keep in mind. If you're trying to drive traffic to your own videos, this is very useful. If you're just trying to drive traffic to your blog post and you're up in the air whether to spend the money on it, you're probably better off with just not buying it. 
But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you disagree with me, I'd love to hear it. And if you have a specific UK use case where you're using this add-on, please feel free to comment below. If you're unsure of whether or not you need it, you can always ask and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.